All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've all learned something here today. We've learned that if you play copywritten material from YouTube, like something famous, like, uh, you know, Spoonful of Sugar, if you do something like that on a live stream, you will get shut down so quickly. <laughs> we were cooking. There was a, a cu couple people. Yeah, see, Travis, I just learned that the hard way, dude. He just said I got yanked. Uh, I didn't. What do I know? I don't know. I'm not a, a nerd like my friend Travis here in Medicine Hat. I'm a nerd. I don't know the rules of stuff. I was just like, oh, I think it'd be funny if people talk about movies and then I play a clip from the movie and then we talk about how stupid it is. Um, and then I did it. And then all of a sudden, everyone was gone. All the comments were disabled. And I left Derek Yee sitting in his bathtub like a dork. Um, that, <laughs> that, that was wicked fast. I don't. That's so crazy. Like, I don't know. I mean, they must have not that anyone's watching. Um, you know, people aren't watching like they just probably have it like like Shazam, you know, like when you Shazam a song and it plays, they probably have that kind of algorithm for a copywritten material and then you will get yanked. Um, I uh, see now I know. Think young Jamie on Joe Rogan. See, now it makes sense when he's like, can we pull that up? Pull that up, Jamie. Can we pull that up? I don't know. We might get yanked for YouTube. It all makes sense now. Yeah, you guys, I got I got taken right down, Matt Santos. Uh, but here, I'll Matt, I'm gonna send you a link because uh, uh, to join this stream. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I wonder if I can just put the 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 link openly. Um, if I can comment on it, let me go to my Facebook. I'm gonna put it on my Facebook. The link to this live stream, and if you want to join, just jump in. I can kind of moderate who is on. Um, I'll toss that down here. Hold on. It's coming in on Facebook guys. Um, this is the way into the live stream stream yard. It's going to be in the comments. Uh, if you're wearing makeup or your hair's done, or you've got a half of a suit on, I'm naked below here. Um, you can join this live stream, click on the link, do the, um, the stuff, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, you can try to join in. I'll see you in the bottom and then I can click and add people. I can add as many people as I want. Actually, I got to have like five or six of you guys on at once. The number one thing we can't do, though, is play YouTube. We've learned that. See, yeah, everyone's like, I can see you, but I can't hear you in comments are disabled. And I was like, oh, I must have done something wrong. And I did. I broke the law. Uh, this is the link. I put up my comment. Uh, StreamYard. Uh, let's bring young Derek Yee back. He's out of the tub, I think. Uh, he's got clothes on. He, <laughs> hey, dude, welcome back. We were uh, we were ripped from the uh, from the stream because of uh, copyright material. Uh, Ralph Patino just came on. Hey, Ralph, how are you, buddy? Uh, good to see you. I missed you. Can't wait to be to Montreal. And uh, missed you. Uh, my cousin Chris is here. What's up, Chris? My Chris, my cousin Chris owns Morley. Uh, wildlife solutions. If any of you guys have critters in your yard, he will come take care of those critters. He is my crazy redneck cousin, and he will, uh, I was going to say kill anything. He doesn't kill them. He catches them, and he releases them in the woods. Uh, so check him out. Uh, David Kopp, uh, hello. I will not play any more YouTube. The only thing I can play on YouTube is uh, maybe people's personal stuff. They're, if there's someone has a stand-up clip they want me to show. Uh, this is Larry David. Thank you, David. Um, uh, this is your namesake, Larry David. Oh, uh, that's Ryan. That's Rylan. Actually, you said that. Um, yeah. Okay, Derek, you're in, buddy. So I got a quick question for you. Shoot. What? You seem like you're very much an aficionado of the theater arts, and uh -huh. uh, yet you haven't seen a lot of these motion pictures. What is that? Um, I haven't seen a lot of theater arts stuff either. I haven't seen a oh. lot. I only know the things, the plays and stuff. Um, because I, um, I did them. I was in a lot of them. I started doing musical theater at six years old. So yeah. we did like, I did like Bye Bye Birdie when I was eight. So, um, you know what I mean? I, I don't uh, know what you mean, but, uh, that's you know, awesome. I just, it's, I, it's been part of my life is what I'm saying. Um, yeah. and, uh, yeah, 
Uh, Travis, if you want to jump in on this too, you can. Uh, he's this Travis guy is close to you. He's in Medicine Hat, very close to you. Oh. Derek's in Swift Current, Travis. Look at us making connections. Actually, I'm in Saskatoon. Oh, that's right. I keep I connect you with Swift Current because the shows were there, but you're in Saskatoon. Yeah. Um. Here we go. How did you end I guess up? I'm wanting just to surprised be that it didn't spill into. We have questions, but go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. Okay, Sorry. let's 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 have a Canadian dance off here. No, you go. No, you go. Um, well, how did you end up wanting to be in them but not enjoy watching them? Well, that's a very good question. I wanted to perform. I didn't care what it was. I just was like a six year old kid with a dream. So I started doing dance and musical theater and wow. theater and stuff like that. I didn't necessarily um, think. Um, that I was like, I want to do musicals because I am a big fan of theater, uh, of the classical theaters and plays and stuff. It was just, I wanted to get on stage. How do I get on stage? Well, we're doing a play. Okay, cool. I like plays. We're, I like musicals. Next thing you know, I'm singing, you know, it was red and yellow and ogre and green and violet. I don't know. I can't remember the colors anymore, but, and I'm doing that. But it was just a way for me to get on stage. It was just a way to get my my drug fix. I admire that, but what you described sounds like a hideous nightmare to me. <laughs> well, that's why you're a comedian and you're not a uh, uh, a theater actor. Uh, Derek, what's your favorite movie, dude? My favorite movie? Yeah. Uh, it's tough. Like, I like the Shawshank Redemption. I love Goodfellas. Like if Goodfellas okay. on TV, I'm done. Like it's just like I'll be late for work because I'll watch. Yeah, Goodfellas that's the thing. I have a rule that anytime I come across Goodfellas, I have to watch it. I have a hard time with it being on TV though because they're like, "Forget you, mother, oh, yeah. forgetters." Uh, I'm gonna bring in someone really cool coming to you from Calgary, Derek. You can stay. We're gonna all be part of this. Um, <laughs> this guy uh, is the voice of Calgary, Jesse Mods. What's going on, guys? Dude, from night, what is it, 97 3? Uh, that's, that's as far off as you could possibly be. It's 94 7. 92 1. 92 1. I knew there was a nine in it. We could have played that game all night, but that would have been very, very bad. <laughs> 92 1 Calgary's Jesse Mods in the morning coming to you live from the kitchen. What are you doing? What's your, what's your buddy's name here? This is Derek Yee, comedian from Saskatoon. What's going on, Derek? Very little. No, what's going on with you? You know what? You stole the words right out of my mouth. Very little. <laughs> oh, man. I, I can don't tell you that. Had... What are you doing, Eric? What? What are you doing here? This is it. This I'm is it. it. Uh, a little party going on for uh, for the fans? Dude, I uh, I, I found I came across this service when I did an interview in Red Deer from my house. To, and I was like, what service is this? And he said, it's a StreamYard uh, website thing. And you should check it out. And I did. And now I'm doing an episode of my TV show. Haven't seen it. And by TV show, I mean uh, the show I shoot in my office on a webcam and a condenser mic. Amazing. The idea of the show being, Jesse, that I haven't seen a lot of movies. And uh, people come on the show. They tell me their favorite movie. I haven't seen it. <laughs> and uh, people lose their fucking minds. And it's hilarious. Jesse, what's your favorite movie? I always, when you say that without thinking, I always say Shawshank Redemption. So I, it must be the movie. That's but what Derek really said. It is. I haven't watched it in 15 years. Though. I only know there's an old guy you that hangs like himself in it. That's all I know about that movie. Rest in peace, Red. Red. Is that his name? I don't know. He dies too. They all die. Anyway, spoiler. The old guy dies. <laughs> uh, we got someone coming in right now from Bro. Vincent Hat, Alberta. Travis. Dude, look at us. It's like hey. a party in here. What's he, up? This guy is a streamer. He streams on Twitch and stuff, I believe. Yeah, check out my fake uh, fake mansion in the background. Oh, that's Travis, not the mansion. Find it easily. You you look like one of Joe Exotic's husbands. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone in this group looks yeah. like one yeah. of Joe Exotic's husbands. We can all have a run at good old Joe, eh? Uh, <laughs> I wish. I love tigers. <laughs> I gotta let my curls out. That's my sex appeal. <laughs> I'm not gay, but for meth and tigers, I might consider it. <laughs> hey, I already have, man. Uh, yeah, this is fun. Look at this. From I tested this service last night, and now here we are. The only issue is now you can't see me. I'm, I'm blocked in the haven't seen it section. Whoa. 
We Whoa, see. okay, now I'm the star. Now it's like Johnny Carson. Are you guys all comedians? Everybody here comedians? Uh, no, uh, Travis is a Twitch streamer and also a, a, a dude who is a farmer, I believe. So I got a question for the two comedians in the room, and this might not be boring, but it, it might be interesting for some. You guys make all of your money based on going to venues where people show up and watch you guys, and you guys obviously can't do that right now. Yeah. You don't have the standard, hey, I make this much money a week job. How are you guys getting taken care of right now uh, by the government, and are you guys? I got my two Gs flat today from the Gov. Right on. New Blazer. Yeah, look at me. I even put a part <laughs> for it. No, I, my I, need nice clothes. I make uh, all my money on the road. Actually, if you think about it, a year ago today, I was in Calgary. My house. You can't yeah, at, at your house, in, drinking yeah. beer in your yeah. basement on the road. I make my money on the road. Obviously, I'm not doing that. I've been doing some voiceover gigs, and I've been doing some um, some curating work, and some like like I'm literally I'm now I have a job now where I I find memes for celebrities, like celebrity <laughs> celebrity Instagram accounts. Um, they they want to stay current and share like memes, like hey, we're funny too. We know memes. Um, I got a job recently doing that, just set, like getting the, looking at the celebrity, looking at their Instagram, thinking what they would think it's funny, and just sending them memes. Um, you're legitimately a, a meme curator. I curate memes and, right now, uh, just based on my just to... my own Instagram. My sense of humor has led me um, uh, to that job. Um, you're raising your hand in grade five when they ask you what you want to be in life, and that's what you <laughs> <laughs> meme curator. How... I want to get memes, you even... for memes for boss babes. Mm -hmm. That's it. I want to. I want to start my own. I'm also going to start selling Avon. Um, <laughs> I I don't know, dude. I'm going to survive. I live at home. I had some money saved up from my last couple tours. Uh, for the first time in my life, I was in this place in my life where I was saving money. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of coast and 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 uh, I'll survive. Awesome. And. Um, are you hitting? Are you hitting TikTok at all, Eric? I just started TikToking yesterday, and I'm doing nice. pretty good. A couple hundred views. I'm using the hashtags and stuff like that. Um, Glenn Foster said you got to be very careful. That, that Canadian guy, a guy, classic, um, legendary Canadian comic, is in the room. To be careful of that hand, not only is it taxable when you have to give at least some of it back. Also, they are proving then deciding if you qualify. Also, if you're working mostly for door deals, how do you prove? what you have made and have um good point glenn um when i someday do my taxes that'll come up uh no, <laughs> <laughs> no i'm kidding i i took the two g's uh, i i'm gonna i'm gonna see what i need and save maybe 10 15 percent of it put that aside as well just so if they ask for taxing on that i'll, I'll be able to give it to them that's that's kind of my plan Derek, Contact. what are you doing you got a you got a kid and a wife and a house what are you doing for money uh, yeah, I'm fortunate enough that, like, you know, I do family therapy and I can do that remotely like this. And then my other job, I'm just working from home, so um, I'm lucky in that regard, I guess. Yeah. But my this is a family therapy is session here. Actually, I I masked it as I haven't seen it episode. Um, and uh, but no, thank you for being here and talking us through it. Um, yeah. Well. Any other? Yeah, this is about this is about as have? effective as I am when I do it with <laughs> you real listen. families too. You're so. a great listener. Yeah. <laughs> Make more noise, Travis. Good idea. Uh, what is that? What does that say? It says Lemon Heart Gaming. I was just plugging myself. Oh, Lemon Heart Gaming! Everyone check out Lemon Heart Gaming. I, know <laughs> doing. I thought it was a crumpled up American flag. It's um, an American and it's and Canadian fellas, flag. I... Derek, where are you going? I'm gonna have to. I gotta have to jump off. My phone's about to die, and my kids oh, okay. screaming. So uh, I love you, buddy. Good Much to see you. I hope everyone who's watching right now, make sure you follow like Derek E. Chauncey Peppertooth on Facebook. He's an up and coming comic out of Saskatoon. He was an, my opener for all my four dates in Saskatchewan. Super funny dude. I'm very proud of him. And look out for this guy. You're gonna see him again in a couple of years. Okay. Now get the hell out of here. I'm kicking you off. Um, <laughs> One tax question, and he leaves. <laughs> He's like, oh <laughs> shit, they're on to me. <laughs> mm. Glenn Foster says again that he's got a little TikTok. I just, yeah, Glenn, you do great on TikTok. Little, little videos and stuff. Uh, Travis, what are you doing for me? I know you're a farmer. No, I uh, I stream Farming Simulator. And, oh. And <laughs> lame as that's going to sound for everyone. That is amazing. 
Um, I grew up in grew up in the farming background and stuff like that. But uh, I uh, grew up uh, went joined the military at 16 and deployed to Afghanistan. Turned 20 overseas. Um, now I'm a correctional peace officer. So wear a uniform, got a badge. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, kind of stuff, Jesse, but... put your weed away. Um... Yeah, no, I, I, we, we smoke weed too. It's legal. Okay. <laughs> That was a very medicine hat response. Oh, no, no, no. We fucking smoke weed, too. Um, per capita, we got the most weed shops and, and uh, liquor liquor stores of anywhere in Canada. In medicine hat? Yeah. Shit. That sounds fun. And, uh, we had like seven the first month that, that the shops opened. Oh, my God. Um, ja Travis, what's your favorite movie? I feel like it's like Forrest Gump or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, go with, I'll go with an old military classic just because I brought it up. I'll, I'll say Jarhead. That's that's probably one of my go-to military movies. Jake Gyllenhaal, right? Haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude. What have you seen? I don't know. We'll get there when we cross it. Cross that bridge when we get there, rather. Um, I've seen yeah. Goodfellas. I know that. I watch that every Sunday. Um, Do you know the meaning of Jarhead? No. Go ahead, Travis. Well, that's just that's just what they call the haircut, like the standard military haircut with the short sides and the little crop top on the top there. Oh, because it looks like a, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, like jarhead. Yeah, so that's like it's a it's an American term. It's a Marine kind of term, but uh, hoo -ah. I only know stuff from like, Call of Duty as as shitty as that sounds. Um, <laughs> I was Jesse. just playing some COD before I jumped on. Oh, nice! Look at you, oh, Jesse. What are you doing over there, pal? I am uh, what having an eye on my kids and trying to ignore phone calls. I'm on. <laughs> I'm on. Um, let's see if there's any questions from the people. We were actually talking to each other. These things are great. Um, yeah, Jesse, you gotta you gotta get on this with your with your stuff. Some of your stuff. Do some live streams from this thing. Um, I see I'll Chris. Say. Chris says his dispensaries are shut down. I'd like to know where he's at and tell him to move to Medicine oh. Hat. Oh, the, yeah, he probably would. Uh, <laughs> he, he, he probably would. Med uh, I'm fucking up. I, he probably would move to Medicine Hat. My cousin Chris uh, lives in a town just outside of here, a very country town, uh, just outside of Smithville. And uh, he doesn't need, put it this way, he's got so much land that he doesn't need dispensaries. If you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> All right, boys, I got to roll out of here, but Aaron, great. Yes, Travis, Say nice hi to your boys. Hey, boys. I saw you on the news. Is that the one that was on the news? That's, uh, yeah, that's my little guy. He was on CNN last week. He was on ago. CNN last week, and it wasn't <laughs> coronavirus related. He, it was his birthday. <laughs> yeah. Jake Tapper and uh, Wolf Blitzer were talking about him. Yeah, now he's right. dancing for you, Aaron. Now he's dancing. Well, see, he knows what to do. Show him some of my dance movies. Uh, movies. He's a little too good, though. I'm a little worried. He, uh, he, he he's a little that. too light on the toes, or what? <laughs> That's what they said about me. Now look at me. I'm perfect. That's why I'm worried. <laughs> we doing dance videos in the middle of the soccer field. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds like me in my backyard. Uh, Jesse, I'll call you later this week. Uh, we got to talk about some stuff. Sounds good. See you later, guys. See you, dude. Oh, shit. Like, Travis, hold on. There you go. I, almost, I thought I kicked you out. Um. Julia says to me, I can smell what you look like if that makes sense. It does make sense. <laughs> I look and smell fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to put this back in the stream, the link to join this uh, stream on StreamYard. If you want to talk about your favorite movie, uh, Travis, you're in with me, pal. You're stuck on yeah. the long run until somebody else comes. <laughs> then you're allowed to um, stay. People are talking about more movies. We can talk about that, though. For the love of God, can we talk about the movie True Man? True Romance. It was for, uh, Tarantino's first screenplay. I need to watch that movie. I haven't seen it, but I know that I should, and I really want to. Um, it is a fantastic movie, I hear. It's got a lot of stars in it, and it's my kind of movie people describe it as. You don't want to watch True Romance? That's your kind of movie. Bro, that's your kind of movie. you got to watch it. Um, I haven't seen it, but I will see it. I need to see it. Um, I haven't seen it either. Haven't seen True Romance? No. Uh, we have to find it, apparently. Julia, I love you too, sweetheart. Um, 
I am not sweaty. I have a nice sheen. I have a nice moisturized. I don't sweat in my life. How dare you? Um, Glenn Foster saw True Romance when it came out. Uh, he is old. We know that. You're, <laughs> Glenn, you're an old dude. Sorry, but you are uh, you are like uh, one of the first. Uh, you're like the disciples of Canadian comedy. Not disciples. Like Mount Rushmore. You know what I mean. Glenn, you're old, but we love you. Um, this StreamYard link here. Uh, if you guys want to join, I don't know if people what people are wearing, if they have makeup on. Um, the idea of the show is haven't seen it. I probably haven't seen your favorite movie. Come on and tell me about it. Uh, the original plan was to play these on YouTube, uh, but then my stream got shut down very quickly. Uh, Twitch, dude. It was about 30 Twitch seconds. Um, Julius says that I'm glowing, which is true. I am glowing. Oh, my hair's getting too long. I need to grow what you have. I was a character in a TV show. His name was Vane on a, a TV show called Splat a Lot on YTV. And Vane, ha Vane <laughs> I, had that. I seen that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, you know, I, I may be able to play Splat a Lot. For sure, I can play Splat a Lot. Let's hold on for the people. I'm going to share all screen. I'm allowed now. Operational health and safety. That's all I'm allowed now. I used to have a beard down past my nipples, man. Ooh, that sounds fun. Nipple beards. Um, <laughs> splat a lot, vein. Hold on, I'm looking it up. This cannot. This can't be taken down. This is from my own personal uh, page. Can't take it down. No way. Here we go. Coming up. Streamyard. Chrome tab. Vein demo. It's working. And I swear to God, if my stream gets shut down again, I'll snap. Here we go. Now playing. Look, we have almost the same. Look. <laughs> look. Can people hear this? I'm not getting anything. <laughs> God damn it. You get the idea. Look at the dude. The, uh... That's oh, you. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, it is me, dude. Oh, here we go. How did you get younger? Just more meal. The rinse is half to the wall. The rinse is half to the wall. That almost took my entire face off. I don't know what to do. Defend or eat. Follow your gut, buddy. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Is this a good time for that? It's always a good time for food, Fatal. We've been through this. I'd like to welcome everyone back to Bane's cooking show. Here, have some. Oh, yeah. It's good and it's good for you. I worked on a new sign. It's called the bee. And it's ain't bad. My kid's bad. No, no. This is a bird. This is the bee. <laughs> Ooh, right in the bread basket. <laughs> So that was Splat a Lot TV show that I was in in 2012. Um, and we had the same thing, same beard thing. How did you get younger? That's what I want to know. You How did I get younger from then to now? Yeah, you did some, uh, what's Dude, up, guy? What's I don't up, know guy? if you follow me on Instagram, but I face mask every night. Not every night, every <laughs> Sunday night. Uh, check my Instagram. I do uh, face masks. And uh, I am gorgeous. Um, Julia, that was me. You just she just splat herself. Oh my god, that's gross. Oh, is that my headshot that's behind you? <laughs> that's my old headshot. That was a whole headshot. Yeah, from that up IMDb. Oh man, yeah, that was me. Uh, you can't hear it. I still, I wish I still had that outfit. I tried to get it from Marble Media, which is the production company that produced Splat a lot. Um, I used to go to like birthday parties and live events and street festivals dressed as Vane when Vane was uh, when Splat a lot was very popular. It still airs on TV, but like at two in the morning on game TV. Um, <laughs> so no one gives a shit. Uh, but uh, um, the uh, the show was very popular for a couple of years in Canada here, obviously in, in Toronto and Hamilton. And I used to get paid to go to um like street festivals and as vain dressed up and walk around and uh and show people that so i wish i could grow that beard uh i am flawless thank you kathy 
Um, the character, actually, funny story, Kathy. I got a quick story about that. Um, I went in for the audition for Vane, and um, the char- the character was described as like a CrossFit um, gymnast, um, California beach body dude um, named Vane. He was very full of himself, and that was his whole character. Uh, the idea of, uh, of 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 him, I call. I got the character breakdown for my agent, and I was like 22, 23 at the time, and I read it, and I was a confident young actor, but even I can't pull off CrossFit. I'm a big dude, I'm muscular, um, but I'm not um, uh, fit. Uh, <laughs> so I uh, I I called my agent, and I was like, I didn't. I, am I supposed to go to this? I can't go to this. I'm going to be embarrassed. There's no way that I'm going to be a CrossFit guy. And my agent said, just go make it your own. It'll totally be fine. You're, they're bringing you in. They want to see you, blah, 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 blah. So then I actually messaged Scott Yaffe. Scott Yaffe played Wink Yahoo on the TV show Uh-Oh, which was very popular when I was uh, uh, a young whippersnapper in the 90s here in Hamilton. Uh, I messaged Scott and I said, Scott, what am I going to do with this thing? How do I get, you know, how do I um, get into this character? And he said, just do it so hard. Do the characters commit to whatever you do. Do it so hard that they have to pick you. They have to whatever you, they, you have to be the ultimate choice. I went, okay, cool. Uh, I went in and I played the character like a Jersey shore, like hates cardio, but loves naps and Turkey sandwiches um, and I did the character so crazily that way that, uh, they were like, okay, good. Can you hold on a sec? And they got brought someone else into the room and, uh, and they, they're like, can you do it again? And I went, yeah, okay. And they brought someone else into the room. Like, can you do it again? And I was like, yeah, I totally can do it again. What I found out after is that the people that they kept bringing into the room were the producer, the executive producer, the director for I, uh, YTV, and the writer, the chief writer for the character. I did the character so confidently that they rewrote the character. They made the character to what I did in the audition and rewrote all of his lines and rewrote his character breakdown and redrew his character uh, composite sketch to be me, and then I got the job, and then I was vain for 26 episodes, and it airs in 170 countries in the world. So let's vape to that. I actually haven't vaped in 12 weeks. I feel fantastic. I quit vaping, bro. It's a good call. <laughs> You're like, I'm not gonna do it. But, uh, straight from the <laughs> straight from the coach's mouth. That's a good call. <laughs> so is this is this limited to movies? Are we limiting? Haven't seen it to just movies or? TV? I I was doing movies, but TV shows we could do. You want? What's your favorite TV show? Well, I'm just curious. Like it's not mainstream TV media, but like you know, it's from your area. Letter Kenny, fan, not a fan. I I'm a big that. fan of Letter Kenny. Not only the show, uh, but the people in it. K. Trevor Wilson and I. Um, used to do shows together all the time in Toronto. I had him on my show in Stony Creek. I ran a show here in Stony Creek for a number of years. Uh, Jared Kiso, I didn't know personally, but we had kind of run in the same circles and stuff. Um, and to to see what they did with that show, um, with a small idea, eight episodes uh, for Crave TV, this new service that no one had ever heard of. It was like they kept getting pitched as the Canadian Netflix and uh, it went uh, from eight episodes to another season gets picked up. Another season gets picked. I think they have like a hundred episodes now. Uh, they also tour all over North America. They sell out theaters in Boston and California and South Florida. It's it's beyond a Canadian thing now, uh, which is I'm very proud of. I've only seen the first two seasons. I know that there's so much more, and I need to to uh, to catch up on that. Uh, but Letter Kenny is fantastic, and it's a Canadian success story. It's the next Trailer Park Boys. Um, you know, anytime I tour in the states, the number two, the two questions that people ask me are, "Do you watch Trailer Park Boys?" and "Do you watch Letter Kenny?" Especially in Michigan. The second I go into Michigan, people are like, "Oh yeah, you got your grade ten, eh?" And I was like, "Yeah, 
I know what they're talking about, but I never really got into Trailer Park Boys. I like Trailer Park Boys, but like people are religious, you know, watch every single episode. I haven't. Um, but yeah, both Letter Kenny and Trailer Park Boys are Canadian. And Kenny versus Spenny is a great Canadian show produced out of Toronto. Um, there's a lot of good Canadian stuff that I think that uh, it once it takes off, it's not even about it's Canadian anymore. People just love it across the board, you know. So, uh, Glenna, hello. Hi, buddy. Hi. Uh, Breaking Bad. I have seen Breaking Bad. But here's the thing. I watched it so quickly that I didn't absorb a lot of it. I need to re-watch it. Because I, like, just hammered through it. I'm like, this show's sick. Cliffhangers. Let's do it. I want Another episode. Another episode. Another episode. I was watching, like, four or five a day where all the plot lines kind of stuck together. And they've, I don't remember a lot of the show specifically. I remember the highlights and the, when the guy explodes and half of his face is missing and the, the first episode with the plate and all that kind of stuff. I remember, I remember all that, but I don't, um, I don't, I need to rewatch it to like, I've seen the Sopranos 13 times through. I know everything about the Sopranos, every scene, every camera move, every line, every character. The Bre Breaking Bad is fantastic, but I've only seen it once, and I need to rewatch it. So have seen, but need to see again. Um, good question, uh, Travis. Have you seen Walking Dead? Uh, snippets, but uh, very, very little. I haven't seen it, and I refuse to watch it. And I'll tell you why: it's too scary. Don't like zombies. <laughs> <laughs> don't like to be scared don't like to have things jump out at me which would cause me to like oh um not gonna watch it 100 not gonna watch it um i appreciate people who like it i know it didn't end the best i know people were pissed off about the ending or if it's still going i don't know um but yeah haven't seen it haven't seen breaking i mean uh, walking dead Sopranos does rule. It's the best show. Ozark. Good question. Karina. Haven't seen it. Travis, you? Negative. Been talked about lots in the workplace as a, a good go-to for like crushing a weekend out or something like that. Yeah. I, I, um, I haven't seen it. I Everyone tells me, watch it. It's like the Sopranos, but more intense. Uh, apparently, this new season is fucking crazy. Everyone. Literally, this is the conversation I have. You watch Ozark? No. Well, the new new story, new season is fucking crazy. I've had that conversation eight times, and I haven't left the house. And it's funny that they ask, like, "Have you seen it?" And you reply with "No," and their go-to is the newest season. Like, we're gonna jump in. <laughs> I'm and just gonna like, skip oh, yeah, ahead and just yeah, do, do just do the new season. Yeah, like start uh, me out with the basics. Was the first season good, or did you have to like you know cry through it for a little yeah, bit? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I think every show, especially if it's got deep um, like deep character development, the first season is gonna be slow on any show. I respect that. Sopranos is even like that. Sopranos is the best show of all time, and even I'm like, eh, first season could be better. Um, another one, Goliath. You seen it, Travis? Goliath, nope. Oh, you're like me, dude. I yeah. knew we were friends for a reason. Yeah, I'm I haven't seen it. Uh, Vikings. <laughs> haven't seen it. <laughs> I think I've, I've I've cracked in a whole new world by including TV. I was just doing movies before. Thank you for bringing up uh, TV shows because this is so much funnier. I keep get being told that I look like one of the guys off Vikings, but I had a little bit longer goatee back then. Oh, you know what? You do have a Viking look. Have you ever done Ancestry.com? <laughs> no. I think it's got some Viking. In it. Scottish, <laughs> you're well, you're Sco Scottish and what? Ukrainian. Oh, I thought you said North Korean. I was like, I don't, I don't see that. <laughs> and first of all, how did you get out? That's great. You made it all the way to. You made it. <laughs> You made it all the way to Red Deer from North Korea. Still I'm Scottish and North Korean. <laughs> I've never heard anyone. Oh, that's funny. Um, Karina says, you do look like the dude from Vikings. See, I didn't know the guy from Vikings was Scottish and North Korean. That's crazy. <laughs> He's one of those Gaelic samurais. Uh, um, 
Vikings rules. You got to check it out. Everyone, see, everyone rules. All these shows rules. Look, re Ozark into the third episode. It's intense. I bet, but I haven't seen it. Uh, we can open up this can of worms and talk about Tiger King. Oh, gosh. I watched it twice. It's only been out for a week. I ran it twice. Can I... I feel I felt like the first time I watched it again, I watched it too quick and didn't fully. I watched the first time in one day. I started and watched seven hours in the first day. The day it came out, so I was waiting for everyone else to watch this fucking show so we could talk about it. <laughs> and and then there was more memes and stuff coming out, and I knew I was doing some. Um, I knew I was doing uh, some meme curating, so I wanted to rewatch and to get my my Tiger King memes. Uh, going uh, my mom just wrote what about the affair gotta watch it now in this house we have a balance that we try to find where i live here for nothing and she'll tell you that and it's her house her name's on the deed but i live here and i was born in this house and i've lived here for 30 years we try to find a balance but the one way that my mom can get me out of any room is by putting on the affair and she puts it on all the time. My mom has found the secret to making me disappear and it's the TV show The Affair. And I'm sure it's great. I'm sure all these people watch it and all these people like it, but I can't stand it and I leave. I, I'm just waiting for her to like uh, Kool Aid Man through the door, just and then what? <laughs> he's, he's actually downstairs watching the affair right now. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing up here? I'm hiding. Uh, fucking Carol, fucking Baskin, shit. Oh, Guess was... what, motherfuckers? Uh, my cousin Chris hasn't seen Tiger King, but my cousin's life is Tiger King. He doesn't own any tigers, but same idea, same amount of guns. And uh... <laughs> I think I told like three people at work today. I was like, "You're lucky I don't own 200 tigers and an 85 gallon drum of sardine oil." All right, I'd make you disappear. <laughs> I'd make you <laughs> disappear. <laughs> Mm. I'd put I'd put that in your will. <laughs> My mom just wrote, it worked. It did. I'm up here doing a live stream. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, best ever hands down movie is The Goonies. Uh, haven't seen it. Oh, you know what? I have seen it. Oh. It was a long time ago, though, and I don't remember anything about it. I know there's uh, some girl that looks like Rosie O'Donnell, and she has a map. <laughs> and there's a big guy with a weird face in the sewers. Um... I know that Corey Feldman's in it. I've actually met Corey Feldman on two separate occasions. And uh, I was hosting the Hamilton Comic Con. And uh, and he was a guest at Hamilton Comic Con. And I actually cure, or not cure, moderated his Q&A. So him and I were shooting the ship both before and after the Q&A. And he was like, he's got to be in the Goonies, right? And he was talking about the Goonies. And I was like, yeah, no, totally great film. I loved it. The Rosie <laughs> O'Donnelly with the map and the guy and the people and the uh, weird face and the chocolate bars. I know that. Uh, but yeah, I do these comic cons and stuff all the time. I host uh, Q and A's for comic cons and I don't know anything about whatever, what anyone's talking about, but it makes me very inquisitive because I, I genuinely don't know. So when I'm moderating these Q&As, all my questions have a follow-up question. Not because I'm thinking of the fans. Because I genuinely want to know. Because I haven't seen it. Um, <laughs> how come the dude with the facial looks like he lives in a mansion? You look like you live in a closet by yourself. <laughs> well... <laughs> Uh, my mom, sorry, for, I'll come back to that. My mom just said, do you want a drink? She wants to bring me up a drink. No, you're not allowed. I should have locked the door. Um, I have know. a full, I have almost full gin smash. I've been talking a lot. Um, but I appreciate the drink, mom. Meatloaf. Ah, the meatloaf. Fuck. Um, okay, so have you seen, have you seen that movie? Seen what? Oh, yes. Uh, Wedding Crashers, of course. That no, was not, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, that is Wedding Crashers. Sorry. Yeah, dummy. Hello. I was thinking, um, Tina, get your fucking meatloaf. Teenage, teenage, teenage meatloaf, Mugen Ninja Turtles. Um, I'm gonna put this this stream for anyone else to join in. 
uh, for one last little bit here on the live stream, the stream yard. If anyone wants to join in, including my cousin Chris, he is a crazy man. Uh, so if he wants to come in, you guys will get along great, actually. Guns and stuff. Uh, I'm going to come back to our previous question about the mansion. I'll bring it back up here. How come the dude with the facial hair looks like he lives in a mansion and you look like you're in a closet with yourself? First of all, I am in a closet by myself. <laughs> I don't live here. This is where my office is. Second of all, Travis, let's show them the secret to your mansion. It's a fucking green screen, okay? The guy doesn't live in a mansion. He's got a green screen behind him. He yeah. just happened to have... Look, now he's, in, now he's in a comedy club. See, now we're in this together. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what it feels like to be a comedian. Yeah. Um, Grandma's boy? Haven't seen it. Oh, <laughs> see, <laughs> your face is what I love. I, oh. I know there was a bunch of I actually and I've met. What's his name? Um, The dude from it. What's his name? The guy. Um, the Come on. The guy with the Bucky Bucky Larsic or whatever his name is in that other movie. <laughs> you know, what I'm talking about. He's in the movie. Someone else help us out. He's in the grandma's boy. Um, he's an actor. He's also a comedian. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, like which character are you talking? I about? don't know. He's in it. He, I think he plays like the gay guy or the guy in short shorts or some. Not wedding. Hold on, wedding singer is my favorite. One of my favorite movies. I'll come back to that. Um, grandma's boy. What's the dude? Like Dante. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I don't know what this guy character's name is. I just know he's in it. Uh, hold on. I'm finding it. Let's bring up uh, IMDb here. Grandma's Boy. Early Jonah Hill movie. Oh, that's fun. Uh -huh. uh, share the screen. Chrome tab. IMDb. Here we go. I feel good about this. Grandma's boy. Oh, God. I can't spell. Grandma's boy. What's his name? Nick Swardson. Oh. Nick Swardson is his name. Uh, is it coming up on the stream yard? Yes. He is right here. Let's find him. Bring him up. Nick Swardson. He's hilarious. He is funny. And uh, let me show you something, something. Nick Swardson. Is he back on Twitter? I know he got kicked off of Twitter for doing something. Did he get kicked off? That's amazing. I don't know if he got kicked off or like banned for a little bit, but yeah. Um, I need to find this picture of me and him together drunk at Just for Laughs. There's some, there's some interesting names in that movie. Like it had a cult following, but it wasn't like super popular, but like Jonah Hill, uh, Rob Schneider, David Spade, like, you know, those are some pretty big names that were in that Nick Swartzen's a big name now, you know? Yeah. He's done very well. Nick Swartzen. Mm -hmm. Um, hold on. I need to find this picture. Nick Swartzen. It's a hilarious picture. I won't give up on it. Uh, Nick Swartzen post from you on Facebook. Oh, found it. Hold on. Here in his him and I drunk. Your photo looks like he's in sailors. Um, bringing it up. Hold on. Chrome tab. Facebook. Nick Swartzen. Share. You see it? Oh, <laughs> him and I. This is my favorite shirt. That's my favorite shirt. I get. Here's the thing. You have ever shirt that you wear to special events and it's like your go-to like looking nice shirt. I wear that shirt to events that always happen to have cameras. So people are like, do you only ever wear that shirt? And I'm like, <laughs> no, I wear lots of shirts, but that's my famous bird shirt. That's Nick Swartzen and I so drunk uh, in Montreal. I look like a fucking model. He looks like he's about to have a stroke. Is he wearing sweatpants? I think he is. There's this <laughs> new Hollywood thing that I do not care for where um, 
guys are wearing sweatpants to like f- like big events because it's like to say like oh, I don't give a shit, I don't care. <laughs> I like I I wear this kind of outfit to the grocery store. I'm running a business, okay, and business needs to be respected. Don't wear fucking track pants to a nice event. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go off there. <laughs> Uh, but uh, that's the thing. Like, I don't own nice clothes. Like, well, I'm I'm a you know cowboy at heart, so I wear like you know denim and denim and cowboy boots. And <laughs> denim, 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 denim. <laughs> yeah, yeah pretty much, denim, denim. Pretty much, but like you know, and then I wear a uniform at work, so it's like I can literally wear the same pair of pants all week because I wear it to work, change into my uniform, wear it home from work, and that's it. You know. Yeah, well, it's a, weird, it's a weird thing for me if these people have like office outfits, like even like because I'm learning so much more about office people during this COVID thing because they're all working from home now and they're not doing their office thing, right? So I'm kind of like learning about their lives because they're not really working at the office anymore, right? Yeah, it's a it's a weird concept to me that I've just never been privy. To I just before. you know different strokes for different yeah. folks. I um. I've always believed my grandmother used to put me in suits when I was like three years old. I think my on my on both sides of my family, they came from like poverty stricken Poland. Both the the mom, the grandmothers, um, they came to like you know you hear those stories where they're like, "Oh, we came to Canada with nothing." That's like true story. They ended up in Winnipeg, um, and uh, and they had nothing. So when they kind of had money later in life, their thing was to just dress nice all the time. Like my my grandfather, my Papa Joe, wouldn't leave the house without like like steaming his hat, like the brim of his hat, so it was perfect. On like he's wearing cowboy hats, but like a pressed <laughs> shirt, and like my grandma used to put me in suits, and I've always just lived that way. You know what I mean? Um, speaking of my family, I'm about to bring in one of the funniest people I know in the world. Uh, he's got to remember before I bring him on that there's a lot of different types of people on here. Not everyone's a redneck. Okay, Mike, and let's agree that there could be some liberals in here, and let's not get too upset. Uh, This is my cousin Chris, everybody. (laughs) You guys are like the same person. (laughs) He, oh my god, this is get my rubber boots on. (laughs) (laughs) Throw some video out here. Good, I got, I got. Holy shit, I got signal. Cool. So this is my cousin Chris. Oh. He's a trapper. He owns Mo- Worley, Morley's Wildlife Solutions. Yep. Uh, if go. anyone in <laughs> watching this uh, has any critters, raccoons, squirrels, any kind, he humanely traps them and sets them free in his backyard. Uh, and- cougar cleaners? Uh, I do work with the health department. Yep. Uh- Ministry of Natural Resources for the Rabies Control and Analysis Program. And yep. Work for the park. So he is a man of, of all trades. Uh, and he's here tonight uh, with limited signal out in the middle of nowhere in the country. My cousin yeah, Chris, everybody. I got better all right. He had his How's boots that? on. I had a feeling if he went outside, there was going to be some guns or something exploding. So this is probably for the best. <laughs> I had to turn the barbecue off and throw the cat <laughs> in, the, uh, in the water trough out back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 oh, this is going to be good. So uh, what's happening? Oh, dude, so I'm doing this streaming thing uh, that uh, all comedians are trying to do. Uh, I found this service where you can stream with multiple people. I wanted to do an episode of my TV show, my TV show, my stream show. Uh, haven't seen it. Um, and uh, yeah, we're doing this. We got Travis. He's in Medicine Hat, Alberta right now. Travis and I met when I was on tour out there doing the Mad Hatter Comedy Club. Uh, and we've been buds ever since. And uh, Pleased to meet you, Travis. And thank you for your service, sir. Oh, thanks, brother. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, he's also two tours in Afghanistan, and uh, and yeah, you guys are like twins. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, Chris, we're talking. What's your favorite movie? Uh, I was the same. Where the red ferns grow was one of my kids' favorite movie. Like when I was a kid, that was my favorite movie. Where the uh, red ferns grow? Yeah, I haven't seen it. Little Dan, Big Dan it was a Disney movie. Huh. 
Yeah, it was about um, a red bone and a beagle. One was oh. little Ann Big Dan, and a uh, kid grew up chopping trees down, chasing raccoons. Is this your story or a Disney? <laughs> or a Disney, yeah, Disney wrote it first. <laughs> <laughs> kind of then you took it to heart, and you're like, I got dogs, and I chopped down trees. Sounds yeah, like the yeah. fox and the hound did for a second there, but. Yes. Yeah, no, uh, it's called where the red ferns grow. It's uh, actually, if you ask Katie and the rest of our cousins there, it's a tearjerker. They can't watch it. Yeah. Uh, but it is a gold movie. Kathy says, hey, Chris. Um, yes. J- Justin Sterling says, thanks for clarifying what he traps. He traps all kinds of shit. Uh, Travis, <laughs> this one's for you. Travis lives in a world of lies. His house isn't even real. He's got a green <laughs> screen mansion. <laughs> I should go- <laughs> start playing the piano back there. Uh, <laughs> um, you know what? I gotta turn off this light behind me because it's because you look like an angel. Whoa! Uh, that's just and that's just wrong. Uh, look at that a redneck who knows something about audio video lighting. I love. <laughs> He's a jack of all trades, just like me. I stream Farming Simulator, and I got fifteen hundred dollars worth of studio behind me. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I, I literally spent fifteen hundred dollars building a studio to stream a game where I make twenty six dollars a month on Twitch revenue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many people are watching someone else farm. <laughs> Not many. <laughs> you can cut on Daryl, my cousin Chris well, farms for real. Yeah, I mentioned it there earlier. I said you're looking for work. I got lots of work around the farm for you. Buddy. We're <laughs> looking at your comedy videos about you know manning up in that. <laughs> exactly. you tangle the raccoon with your hands and well, that'll be great those yellow white bastards <laughs> that's a whole new type of dance video uh glenna's taking off take care glenna thanks for signing on uh travis actually could be homeless did you see chris what do you think of all these videos and now that there's less people out on the streets all these animals are taking over the cities they already have been man people are just now paying attention because they're home to see them yeah oh really yeah, that's an interesting take. Yep. More business got, for you, uh, I guess. I just, finished, I just finished a few beaver calls for the uh, beaver call. <laughs> After I was done drinking, went to the beaver calls. <laughs> um, no, I just finished some M and R calls for beaver to remove them from parks. And uh, actually, now that this COVID's going around, there's more and more people trying to get out into nature and enjoy themselves, but they don't realize that it's still harmful to them. And it's actually making our jobs harder. I Um, guess. Yeah. Yeah. My mom wrote, uh, Chris trapped two raccoons and an albino possum and the neighbor's cat in our backyard. He didn't kill anything. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) Sometimes the neighbor's cats get snuck into the traps. Oh God. Your mother was hilarious. What's that smell? (laughs) <laughs> uh where is chris trapping i know he does all over the niagara region hamilton stony creek niagara falls all that kind of stuff uh so yep. when, when you guys are when we're off this make sure you check out morley's wildlife solutions uh humane animal trapping here in the gtha uh he's caught a lot of stuff he's got a lot of great videos on his facebook so make sure you guys check that out morley's wildlife solutions um beaver so calls what's in, what's- What's in your uh, What's in your next week's itinerary, there, bud? Like, uh, wide like, open. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I've been I'm gonna do some more stuff like this. I've got some more voiceover stuff that I have to do here in my studio. Uh, I've been uh, doing some some comedy writing and some comedy curating and uh, and uh, gonna do stuff like this. When I if when I started this tonight, if I knew that Travis, a former military. Uh, two tours in Afghanistan and my cousin Chris would all be in the same room. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed it. All talking about our favorite movies and TV shows. Uh, but that's what this whole kind of world we're living in is about now, uh, where we can come together and things like this and um, and just meet each other and shoot the shit and have a laugh. I'm seeing some people in the comments Um just uh loving it and and uh and and it's been great i i I love doing this kind of stuff i've already done over an hour and uh we've only talked about like three or four movies (laughs) so uh that's just how um how people go here's one here uh good movie breakfast club uh i did i have seen breakfast club and i was 
Yeah, I was thinking recently the tra- the the principal. I saw a meme about it. The principal on Breakfast Club is like, "You want another month of detention? You got one more. I can keep going, baby." That's how I feel about us in quarantine. <laughs> Doug Ford's like, "You want to do another month? No, another week. We'll do two weeks. Shut it down. We'll do three weeks." Um, but this is for the best, and uh, it's helping the environment. And I'm actually, I if I wasn't for, I never would have done anything like this. I would just show up, do shows, have a couple beers, go home, go to sleep, go to the gym the next morning, all that kind of stuff. Do my regular life. This world that we live in or living in is completely shaken me up, and made and made me, um, you know, made me have to do this kind of stuff. So I'm stoked yeah. about it. Well, you know what? That's the great thing about, you know, a, part, a big part of our family. You know that, Eric, is we're all entrepreneurs in our own sense. And we've already had to make our way to do what we're doing. Um, so what's one more kick in the ass to get going and try something else new? Yeah. Uh, it's in your blood, buddy. You're not going to quit. So just keep on getting it done. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so, man. I think there's going to be no quit. And I think the people who were going to quit and maybe, you know, it sounds terrible, should have should quit um they uh this is kind of their opportunity and the people who are in this for real are going to uh rise to the top and keep moving and learn how to make these changes and learn how to do these shows and and uh oh here's a gem of a guy gilbert deandra boss he says are you watching are you watching breaking bad uh yeah i've seen it i've seen it gilbert gilbert my cousin chris also knows gilbert travis this dude Gilbert we're talking about was one of my dad's best friends hilarious guy local mechanic everyone knows him everyone loves him he's got long curly hair and he's the boss and everybody in Stony Creek knows and loves him I'm literally just looking at his at his profile picture of the comment you brought up as you're describing him. yeah <laughs> yeah uh-huh. that's him that's okay. a perfect description yeah. <laughs> he's the boss um but yeah he is a hell of a dude do it type of the guys who will uh help you with anything and show up in the middle of the night and uh, get you out of a jam if you need it if he hasn't had too many browners bows too many beers uh he'll show up and help you any time of day uh so he's a hell of a dude um i hope when this is all over you get to come to sudbury again eric jamie i hope so too buddy i uh sudbury is one of my comedy homes i love coming there uh this is a great way to try new things and do something and uh karina someone said well well uh chris said well well said chris uh we're entrepreneurs and we're gonna all gonna get through this uh and chris is right yeah my cousin chris good work karina um i'm gonna shut this down guys uh this was super cool i'm gonna do a log off and uh, maybe i'll come back tomorrow night and do this but i need to pee and my back hurts from sitting in this shitty chair uh <laughs> Chris, Travis, thanks for joining me. Travis, thanks for sticking out on the long haul. I know you're a Twitch streamer, so you're like you're used to long, uh, long streams. Thank you so much for helping me out on my first episode. I haven't seen it live on Facebook. I love you both. I'm going to sign you guys both off, and then I'm going to do a sign off, and then we're going to call it a night. See you later, boys. Bye. Travis, Bye. Boop. Chris, love you too, buddy. Okay, here we are. Um, kick from studio. You're out kick from studio you're out uh this was super cool guys i like i said uh i don't i'm gonna have to check this after i can't see the full uh stats of how many people actually watched and tuned in and shared and liked and commented uh it's a couple hundred uh and who would have thought travis uh veteran from medicine hat alberta and my cousin chris the uh, the animal trapper and uh, and a big brother to me would meet virtually online in I'm in a closet. You got Larry David. You got my cardboard cutout. Uh, this was haven't seen it. Um, we talked about a couple movies. I'll be back if not tomorrow night, another night this week. Uh, Chris Gordon says my hair is looking nice. Thank you, Chris. I know or whatever. Uh, Kathy. Uh, love you emma i hope you had fun thank you so much travis that was hilarious karina it was a slice looking forward to the next one thank you guys so much this was hasn't haven't seen it and i haven't seen a lot of movies uh i'm gonna call it thank you guys so much for coming checking it out and uh, let's do this again sometime okay have a good night guys bye